I am here in Granny's basement. This is where Granny, 79 years old, grows 55 pot plants. I'm surrounded by this stuff. Here, now Granny says, and her attorney says, it's perfectly legal to have this amount of pot. But the township here in Ypsilanti, they say, no way. A big court hearing today, take a look. Justice for Judith! Protesters outside of the Washtenaw County Courthouse fighting for Granny, real name Judith Pontius. Can you love her? She's 79 years old, a grandmother, and grows 55 medical pot plants in her home in Ypsilanti Township. But now she's facing 93 days in jail because Ypsilanti Township says she can't grow that much pot in her house. But the smell of it, it smells up the neighborhood. Oh man, we have these awesome uh, grow supply stores and you can go and get these carbon filters. Okay, ironically, Granny worked 31 years as an appraiser for Ypsilanti Township. She retired and then became a caregiver, growing medical marijuana for family members. It's more of a township just picking on her because she's a caregiver for cannabis, a cannabis caregiver. Now the township doesn't have a problem with growing or using marijuana for personal use, but caregivers must grow in a light industrial area, not in personal homes. Municipalities do have a right to make zoning ordinances. However, they do not have a right to ban, penalize, or impose unreasonable restrictions on the grower. It's effectively eliminating Judith Pontius because she can't afford she can't afford to go into an industrial zone. She could afford in her home. The Michigan Supreme Court agreed with the township, meaning Granny lost, and yet her 55 plants remain in her house. On Wednesday, the judge set a date for a hearing to determine if Granny is in contempt of court, should go to jail, and face the destruction of her plants. Are you nervous? No, I'm not nervous. I think I'm on the right side, so generally uh, there's nothing to be nervous about. All right, this is uh, Judith right here. Judith, are you nervous about going to jail because the township wants to take away all these pot plants? Uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but, you know, I have to deal with whatever comes, you know. This is for caregivers. I, th my fight's for caregivers, besides my own, of course. Some people are saying, do you really need 55 pot plants for basically your own use and your friends and family use? Well, it's for my own use. Um, yes, because I do edibles and it takes a lot of plants to make the make edibles from it. So I only do like three a year, so I do need this many for my own use. Last, I, last question here. What do you think your case says about caregivers and cities or townships that essentially want to regulate where all this can go. They don't like the fact that all these plants are in your personal home, but they say you can grow them, but in an industrial area. What does this case really mean for the future? I think the municipalities like to control uh, caregivers. Um, I think it's wrong because originally it was set up for people to have grows in their own home for caregivers and their patients. And all of a sudden it's turned around and the municipalities are fighting caregivers and I think it's just wrong. Caregivers need to help patients. It's a lot cheaper to get it from a caregiver than to go to a dispensary. Not that I have anything against dispensaries, but we can help our people by giving them free if they need it or giving it really cheap so they can afford it. Would you go to jail if the cops came in and took away all this stuff? Well, what else could I do? If they came and got me, I'd have to go, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you nervous? Take some of this stuff and ease your mind there, okay? I got some gummies upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Judith, Granny, great sense of humor, but it is a serious case. There'll be a hearing, that's what the court decided today, as to whether or not 55 plants in her view, is for personal use and for her caregiver use. The township says only 12, just 12, not 55. That's the issue. More to come on this case. I'll send it back to you live from Ypsilanti Township in the basement of <laughs> Granny's uh, operation here. Charlie, you always, you always have some interesting advice for people, but wondering if she got rid of, Judith got rid of the necessary amount of plants, brought it down to 12, would she be okay? Would police leave her alone and she'd be able to stay out of jail? 
Great question. If she got it down to 12, the township would say, we welcome you back into our township here. 12 is the number that the township wants, but you're not satisfied with just 12. No, I think I need more. If I'm only doing three a year, I would need more than that just to, to, to do my edibles. It you takes know? a lot to make edibles, right? Yeah, it does. 55, you make a lot of edibles here. Well, <laughs> now nine of them are mom plants. So I see. Th so they're not really flower plants. Right. So the rest of them, yes. Think That's a horticulture uh, type of thing there. You're too much of a pro here. <laughs> well, it took a while. I, I had a lot to learn when I started. 79, you got a lot more years to learn. All right. Okay, All Charlie. the best. Again, we will follow this case. There's a hearing. Back to you guys. All right, Charlie. We'll let you go so you can talk to Granny a little bit longer, but uh, it sounds like it's going to be ultimately up to her. They